going on guys? So I was finally able to finish the Guardians of the Galaxy Wave 2. Uh, finally got my Nebula and Gamora finished uh, Mantis. So I thought I'd just do a quick review of the whole wave. Um, so first off, let's start with the smallest one. Uh, we got Baby Groot right here. Let's get a closer shot. Pretty awesome. You know, the paint's good on it. He has that little suit on. Super cute. I like his little eyes and the wood on him, his little hair sticking up. The uh, DVD just came out, uh, I haven't picked it up yet, but I did re-watch it, and you know what? Guardians 2 wasn't that great. I mean, it was a good movie, but it wasn't as good as the first one. So here's Rocket, he has pretty damn good articulation. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, just side to side with the feet, but that's fine. Uh, they did a lot better job with this rocket raccoon than they did on the first one. Mouth, or it comes with two heads. One's closed, one's open. Uh, don't have the extra with me right now. Um, this Star Lord was not from this wave because I really hated that Star Lord. Um, this is the first wave Star Lord, and what I did was I took the Marvel Select jacket off. This, that Star Lord and put it on this one, and I like that look a lot better. Yeah, articulation is great on this figure. Um, I did. So here's the the first one. I did remove the legs from it. So this is the blade legs from the Marvel uh, Netflix series. I hated the legs on the blade, so I took it off there and I put it back on this uh, this Star Lord here. You know, so I wouldn't waste the figure. But, this figure was a waste of money. <laughs> I mean, they gave us three Star-Lords this time around, so... Um, that two-pack one with his dad, Ego, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick that one up. Um, you know, a lot of people say they don't like the movie figures, but honestly, we all buy them. We all collect them. Um, I sold off all my older movie figures, but we got so many new movies coming out, we're going to get them all again. So, I'm collecting the latest versions of the movie figures. Alright, so there's Star Star-Lord. Um, let's go into Nebula. Get the movie figures out of the way. Nebula, I liked a lot. Uh, my only complaint would have to be her face is just so bland. You know what I mean? There's no expression or anything in there. But the purple in her suit came out really, really good. I really like that color. And her blue skin tone is really cool little details in there because she's mostly robot and this arm pops off and has the other one so that's really cool articulation is great I like her boots those are real cool yeah the purple and the blue came out really good right. and Gamora I like her accessories a lot this gun is just awesome and then she comes with that smaller blade and the extended blade I really like the way her hair came out. And her, you know what? She's really good. Um, this figure might have came a little messed up because this leg pops right off. But uh, the boots, the outfit, I like everything about this figure. <clears throat> hair came out really well, the brown in the jacket, everything. Articulation is great. I only, I wish they just put more expression in these faces because that's why she's so monotone. All right, and then we get um, Yondu, who was my favorite character in the movie. Um, I like this face on him rather than that smiling one. Um, I wish the, the jacket sat a little lower on his shoulders, but that's fine. Um, I don't know where my son put his uh, whistle thing, so he doesn't have it right now. But uh, the costume on him is great. Um, I like the legs. It's a little thinner than most. Uh, the pants are great. The holster. His upper suit is cool, has the design on there. It's a cool figure, I was happy with this one. Alright. And for the last movie figure, I finally finished Mantis. And I'm really happy with this Build-A-Figure. Yeah, it does suck that she was the Build-A-Figure, she should have just been a regular, you know, figure. But we did get Death's Head, so that's awesome. She has good articulation and everything like that. I actually think she looks amazing, to tell you the truth. I like the greener costume. 
everything looks really cool. She was a cool character. Groot was her, <clears throat> Drax was a dick to her, but she was cool. Alright, so going into comic figures, we got Adam Warlock. And I'm really happy finally getting this figure from Hasbro. Um, I never had the Toy Biz version, so having this one is super cool. I like the black and the red. It's a real simple design. It's on a Bucky Cat mold. The head looks really cool. He also came with that alternate blue head, which I actually know nothing about. So if you know anything about why he would turn blue, please leave a comment, because I have no idea. Um, I've only read, uh, what was it, the Infinity Gauntlet, where uh, he took the gauntlet from Thanos at the end. So that's really all I know about Adam Warlock besides how he was created and stuff like that. Yeah, so taking a look at um, Ex Nihilio, it's a really cool figure. Um, I'm happy with it. I like the Omega design on him right there. Uh, I like the turquoise eyes and the design of the horns and everything like that. I like his smirk and the attention to detail on his face is really good. Um, he's on the Hyperion mold with open arms and they gave him feet, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, I think it's a pretty cool figure. I think it's a cool character that they released. Um, I was saying that I should buy some spawn figures and spray paint them gold to give him an army. So I think that'd be really cool. 